Peggy 16. You know me as Escher on the forums. I'm here with David Nishagen. Um, known as Nishagen on the forums. And he's our uh, lead designer, as you can see there on the screen. Um, first of all, I want to take the opportunity to say hello to you all. Um, I am new to the community as you are to us on the whole, I guess. And uh, hopefully you'll be seeing a lot of me in the time to come as I mercilessly harass David with all your questions and comments and feedback and uh, everything else that goes with it. Which he loves, mm. by the way. Yes. Yes. Very much so. So, um, tonight we're going to talk about, firstly, we have the patch today. Yeah. Yes. Um, some mentions of leaderboards, which I believe we've been through. Mm -hmm. um, thoughts about where we're going to go forward with the community and... Uh, whole working hand in hand thing, which we are definitely all about. And then some Q&A, both I have some of the questions from the chaps and chaps, chapesses on the forums and some from the live stream. Yeah, so if yeah. you're in the stream, just feel free, fire away questions and we'll try to pick them up at the end of the stream. Yes, indeed. And we'll be on for about, uh, as long as you s like put put interesting questions. As long as you need us. Yeah, yes, we'll as long as you yes. Right. So, patch. Patch, yes. So, today, hopefully, 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 yes, a lot of work's been going so over the past yeah. few weeks. Um, we would like to say that the hagfish have taken a very large hit to the population. Yes. Yes. Mostly slain, we hope. No, but I mean, we've been focusing quite heavily on, on the connectivity uh, issues. So, I mean, uh, having crashes, the balance issues, graphical glitches. It's not important if you can't get in the game and play, right? So that's where we've been putting almost all our focus. Uh, and today we hope with this release that we have nailed quite a few of the problems. Uh, a large part of it was during the weekend. If you played during the weekend, you probably had a pretty rough time. Uh, that was part of it. Thank you for staying put going in there because the data we gathered there really ha helped us nail it uh, today and you'll probably see some more hagfishes some more sloths some more odd errors yeah yeah and we'll get cracking on those as well but hopefully the big chunk yes. of connectivity issues should now be dead as i said to david just before now one of the guys on the forum said, "Ah, oh, I had a hagfish and as far as i'm concerned a hagfish is great <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're on the right track you know we've you know, it's... Uh, yeah, it feels really, really <laughs> good. Uh, yes. And please, if you have any connectivity problems, press the feedback button, let us know, post on the forums, etc. Just get it in there so we can get info and act on it. Mm -hmm. And also, I mean, our first uh, you know, little peek about us working in the community, we had our first vote results. It was kind of a, a dry mm. run to see how we want to possibly work in the future. We thought we'd... Uh, ask you guys how things should be and as our tests we chose the magics that we've had in game so far yeah so what did they went for is teleport revive and uh, of course misses a death or miss yeah. death and uh, meteor so I mean we had some interesting statistics from uh, Beanie our stats guy didn't we we had uh, as far as the different magics that we've had over yeah the yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely I mean the the first magic the one that's most commonly available, and we've used it for both haste and teleport, right? Uh, that's by far the most used one because it gets you out of sticky situations and it lets you, like, tactically, tactically get closer or away from a spawn point or a respawn point, right? So that's by far the most used. Uh, the second one, both Revive and Stone Prison, they mm. were comparatively weak. Stone Prison was fairly useless, since everybody had teleport, you could teleport out. Uh, if you had chosen to keep it, you would have found it a bit more interesting if you didn't have teleport, yes. actually. So if you can make people stick, it's hilarious. And Revive was, oddly enough, not so popular in the beginning, but now with the yeah. changes where you can find corpses on the mini-maps, I yes. think we're going to see a lot more use of that, I think. Also good piece of information. Uh, we saw that so many people used it as a heal. Oh, it's green, it's a heal, right? It's beneficial. Okay, so we did that. Try to add uh, you know, 500 hit points uh, heal on it. So you can use it even if there isn't a dead guy in front of you. You can help and save your teammate. And your enemy, you heal your enemies as well, of course. 
Yeah. <laughs> As always, As friendly always. fire goes both ways, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. I mean, they were the the two big points from today's patch. Um, you know, obviously I, um, the we have one more thing. Mm. Uh, it's not something that you'll be able to see right away, but it's sort of a prepping thing. Yes. Uh, it's for the leaderboards, which I believe you mentioned earlier. Very briefly, yes. Yeah. So maybe you can tell us more. Yeah, I mean, we've started with letting you select your wizard name in the game and separate from your Steam name. You see them both in the, in the what do you call it, the end of round screen and if you press tab in the game, the scoreboard, right? Uh, but for the leaderboards, we're going to use your wizard names. And we've started gathering data now on your how you actually play. So we count the number of uh, kills, deaths, so we get a kill-death ratio. We track the amount of XP and crowns, etc. you earn. And we're going to put that into a leaderboard. So you can see how you're doing compared to other people. So first we're going to start storing the data. That's what yep. we're doing now. And uh, then once we have it and see that the data actually comes through and it works, yeah, then we'll fire up the leaderboards. I don't know exactly when, when it's done, mm -hmm. I guess, but it's not that far away. Uh, possibly a week? Hopefully. Hopefully, Hopefully. maybe. We'll, we'll yes. see. But yeah, I mean, that's something to look forward to. It's always nice to uh, have a bit of persistence. <coughs> Excuse me. But so what kind of things are we thinking about having in the leaderboard for people to track? Yeah, exactly? I mean, for, we'll, we'll do as always, start very small and very focused mm. on, on like, uh, kill death ratio is a good thing, right? The amount of kills, the amount of XP, or which level you are, so you see who's played the most. I think we we might use things like total played time. So if you've played a lot of played a lot of it, even if you bad at actually killing people, you'll get on top of a list just for playing the game. Uh, and this is something we'll, we'll expand on yeah. in the future, of course. I'd I'd love to see how many like accidental friendly fire leaderboards, but then again, that's going to open up a whole world of nasty possibilities of people yes. trying to get high scores. Yes. Yeah. Maybe we'll forget about <laughs> that. <laughs> we can have sheep exploded. Yes. Yes. Cardboard sheep exploded. And also, I mean, if you have <laughs> ideas and suggestions, on, oh, you absolutely must track the amount of people you have shattered while frozen. That's a very important thing. Just yeah. no, let us know. Post it on the forums if you want our direct feedback in a discussion. If you just want to tell us, use the feedback button in the game. Cannot say much, say enough. Forums, forums, forums. I mean, obviously yeah. I'm biased being a community developer, but we really, really do love to hear you guys uh, chipping in and giving us your comments and feedback. And uh, it's nice to be able to, <coughs> sorry, I need some more. Talk get, back. Yeah, exactly. Nice I mean, talk. the forums is the primary thing where we can actually talk back to you. Mm -hmm. uh, the feedback is right now, one way, just exactly. it's a monologue from you. This is what we find, what we like, what we want. You can tell us that, and we can act on it. But if we want to say, great idea, yeah, forums is the best place. Yes, I mean, um, I think that's we've covered the main points. As always, we have a nice big long list of patch notes. I mean, we have the, the big things that you as a community are going to see, and then we have plenty more behind the scenes, which uh, David and his colleagues have all been busy beavering away at. Yeah, and I mean, of course, we do lots of stuff that you won't see in the patch yeah. notes either. Things that have to do with, like, uh, security things, more complex back-end things. It, it's quite a bit of work that mm. we do. So even if the patch notes are small, yes, we work hard to yes. give you the best possible game. Okay, cool. Um, going on from the whole uh, voting system yeah. that we put in, you know, to test uh, this week, what we understand, you know, voting could be the way forward in terms of getting uh, the community input. So, yeah, what what are you thinking of the future to do with that? Well, we're thinking. I mean, since we are in early access on Steam, right? So the the whole point why we are there is that because we want to work together with the community to create the best action. PvP spellcasting game ever, right? Uh, and getting you to vote give us very measurable feedback. As I mean, it worked with the magics. You made pretty sensible choices. Right? So, um, what we would like to do in the future, going forward now, that would be to uh, give you a bit of our time. So. 
think of it like this. We have one third of our time, which we, of our development time, that we have unplanned. It's things like having these kind of streams, going to meetings, having Nerf gun wars, fixing smaller bugs and issues that aren't really this massive big plant thing. All the little things that lets us be agile and move fast and react fast. That's about a third of our time. The second third of our time, that's planned work for us. Things like a store. Yeah. Yes, of course we will need a store. It's in the pipeline, we're working on it. Right, so we have these bigger chunks of stuff. Also things there will be like matchmaking and pretty heavy lifting stuff. And the last third, yours. We'd like to use a voting system to let you vote on what we should do with the remaining third of our development time. And you decide. So what we would like to do is that we'd like to put up options mm -hmm. that you can pick from. So it won't be a, I scream the loudest, thus my choice appears. No, we'll probably do, we'll see how this works out. I mean, this is fairly new to us. Uh, but I'm, I'm guessing that we'll end up with something that looks a bit like a tech tree, where you have, we put up choices that are relevant. And then uh, there's also some things that have dependencies. Say like, um, if we want to do uh, clan stuff, or tournament stuff. Okay, before we can go there, we need to do our own friends system. So we can actually know who's friends with yeah. who and who's then in a group and who can we then group this group against this group right so there's a whole dependency scheme going on so as as a designer it, it sounds quite a bit like a tech tree yeah and the important thing of that is i guess it's it's not necessarily a guarantee of hey you got this vote it's in the next patch but it's more no, about no. you're going to give 30 percent of the development team yeah solely on this so. exactly <laughs> and i mean it's done when it's done it, it's i mean if it's a big thing, you if it's a small <coughs> thing, yeah, we can probably have it done quickly, but it still needs to go through proper QA testing. And it's not like uh, we have, we need development time and testing it and making sure it's fun as well. So I think uh, we have an example of what we wanted to go for mm. now, I believe. And that would be uh, letting you choose between these two options. Yes. I think we even have a, a little layover thing possibly coming out. Maybe. So there's two <coughs> options we want to try to test with. So let's see here. Community choice, right? So uh, weapon abilities or rings. So the way you can vote on this is by just go in the game, click the feedback button, and in there you have the choice of you know, vote on what the devs should work on and give feedback. And in there, you'll find these two options with a bit of explanation on what they are. Um, weapon abilities is uh, it's a kind of fun thing that we've been ex toying a bit with, experimenting slightly with. I think we have a video where I can show you some of uh, the stuff on how we wanted to do it. Yeah, I mean, weapon abilities has always been uh, some, you know, you've always had the weapon casting abilities in the original Magic, mm -hmm. though, whereas this is kind of taking... Uh, a new swing at things, I guess. Well, to bad pun there, I guess. But <laughs> a new swing. <laughs> See what I did yeah. there. Yeah. No, so in a way, I mean, this could work uh, as giving you the ability to do special cool things with your weapon, basically. Uh, do we have a video? You can roll it and I can comment on it? Shortly. 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 Okay, so yes. I can just explain what yeah. it is first. So basically, a couple of you have mentioned on the forums, just hold down the right mouse button and you can charge the weapon, just like you charge a stone or projectile or whatever, right? So you charge up your weapon and then you do a special attack with it. So uh, I think we have the uh, Gunginir spear from inspired by the original Magicka. Uh, and that, of course, the special ability for that one should be that you throw it. Obviously, it's a throwing spear, right? So, and there's also, if we have melee weapons, you can do other things with it. You can do multiple chain attacks. All right, so here we have the, uh, me playing with the, with the uh, Gugnir spear. So we have weapon combos. 
If you press the right mouse button multiple times, you do combo attacks. So you do stab, stab, and a big swing. Uh, and if I move out, and then I just hold the right mouse button, I'll charge it up, and you'll see a little sparkle. That means the ability to charge, and I just let it go. So it becomes a ranged attack with a quite high DPS, actually. Uh, not as much as a fully charged projectile or stone, mm. but uh, <laughs> as you see, uh, the spear also it returns to you after a short downtime. So you throw it, kill something at range, it lies on the ground for a few seconds, and then it pops back into your hand. Right? And also, I mean, you can chain these melee attacks to make uh, various well, combos. Yeah. There's combo chains. Yeah. It feels quite powerful, actually, when you do it. Yeah, I mean... And it's, it's very satisfying <coughs> if you have, like, a throwing spear to just, you know, throw it in the back of a running opponent. <laughs> it feels, you know... It, quite almost better than charging up a, a, a spell and hitting someone. Yeah. Uh, so that's one of the options uh, that we create weapon abilities, unique ones for each weapon. Right. So if you have a if you had a sword, you would do a, some sort of special cutting, slaying, slashing thing. Uh, throwing spear, so we have ranged attack. If you have something heavy like an axe, I, I'd imagine you could do some sort of jump attack and do an area of effect damage on the ground. If we wanted to do things like, say, the ice blade from the original Magicka, yeah, you can have like an ice blade sword that does, you know, uh, you swing it like a Norman sword, but it has this special ability. So we could have weapon enchantments, but you bring them into the game. You, you yes. pick them before you join the game. Same as you do with your robe and the other equipment. Mm. That's one choice. Yeah. And the other choice would be rings. Uh, little magic rings. Another customization slot that will enable you to like uh, add to your elemental affinity. So you could have like a fire ring, a ring of flaming funness that'll make you better on fire and weaker at death in this case. So it's another customization slot uh, that we'll add. And for that, we'll do a, a bunch of rings, a bunch of stats, make sure it's balanced and looks pretty. So those are the two choices we'd like to start with. Mm -hmm. So as of now, if they want to vote, do they just use the in-game feedback? Yeah, yeah, yeah. go into the game, click the feedback, yeah. and vote away. <coughs> After you're done watching this stream, of course, because yes. we know you're all uh, otherwise engaged. And yeah. for, the, for the future, I mean, I know maybe we'd like to present something for them to see an overall scheme yeah. of where things might yeah. lie. You were talking about having prerequisites to unlock things. Yeah. So. Uh, it, it would make sense to have some form of something like a tech tree. So you so you need to have this, this, and this. Also, so you limit the amount of available choices. Mm. If you have like, oh, we can do 50 things. No, that's too much. We'll end up with like the equal amount of percentage in all of them and no decision. So we're going to slim it down to have, I know, two, three, maybe four on occasion, but a limited amount of choice. And... Uh, in the case where we have dependencies, we'll try to show, to get over here, if there's really fun stuff over here, yeah, you need to take these two steps first. And each of the steps should, of course, have some sort of real benefit for you, for the game. Yeah. It'll be fun. The boring stuff is things that we will most likely do on our plan. Yeah, Thanks. you kind of know they have to be done. You yes. don't need to be steered in that direction. Also, I mean, yeah, absolutely. And fun <coughs> things will, of course, also need to be done. Like, yeah. yes, we will have a store. It's next in the pipeline. Uh, we will have some sort of way to let you select magics. Absolutely. There's nothing to vote about. We'll do it as quickly as we possibly can. Uh, and, like, we will have proper ELO-based matchmaking. Those three are. They are coming. But we should uh, speak of matchmaking. I know queues been a little bit long recently, but I should mention, if you didn't notice already, we've been sent on another wave of keys today, and uh, we'll do it on a quite regular basis. So we've got plenty of fresh meat for you guys to uh, <laughs> greet. I to saw our some game. fantastic <laughs> forum post. Oh, is the game much easier since the last yeah. patch? Yes, yes, it is. You're playing against noobs. Please be gentle. Oh, no, no, no noobs. <laughs> <laughs> Newbies is the Newbies. preferred term. Yes. It's good. Yes. Always on the player's side, aren't you? 
Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have to be here, champion of the people. Mm -hmm. So, um, this is. Uh, <laughs> I'm being uh, signed up from behind the camera by our producer here. Um, do we have some questions, perhaps, from the community? Yeah, or sure. Fire away. You totally missed what I was going for. You completely missed the point of statistics, man. Ah, this you, is didn't, oh, stats. you didn't list the, you didn't, did you even stats. read my we shot sheet? Stats. I have a shot sheet. <laughs> I have a whole friggin' shot sheet and stats. they completely skipped over it. Yeah, I'm, okay. watching, I'm okay. watching. I've been, I've been, I've been hitting the raffle button through the entire time. Guys, if you're in the chat and you want to win a key, you only have to add exclamation mark raffle once. Uh -huh. in the chat and you will get a opportunity to win. Now we have o we have over 200 people in the raffle right now that want to win and I've already given away six keys so far. So I can I'm going to give one I'm going to give one away right now. This is going Do it. This is going yeah. to go straight out of my uh, salary by the way. I want to put this out. <laughs> Jarvan, you just won yourself a key. Congratulations. Enjoy. Congratulations, Jarvan. Looking forward. So meeting you in game. Um, oh, oh, yeah, let's talk about statistics, statistics shall we? Statistics. Apparently, this is the thing. Yeah, this is about. this is what yeah. I get a hard on over. So yeah. let's go and discuss this. All right, stats. So the game has been out for how long? Uh, how long is, or is the early access been available? Let's see now. Fifteenth of October, wasn't it? Fifteenth of October. So about two, three weeks. Two and a half weeks. Two and a half, mm. two and a half weeks. Yeah. So we have an internal guy who does all the metrics for our game, and basically it allows us to. Um, look know at things. No things like your bank account. That's okay. yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, basically, what it allows us to do is just to gauge what the what is being used and what is not being used, and so we can skew uh, to make a more balanced game. Yeah. Now, in the last two and a half weeks, yeah. How many how many spells have been cast? You think? Make a make a wild guess. A wild guess. A wild guess. <laughs> Millions, two million, two million, two million bloody two million. spells. Two yeah. million. Well, I, I believe, uh, I believe our good old community developer. He Probably said, he, yeah, he said three million. To yeah, me. so yeah. I, w I was closer. <laughs> you, were, you were definitely closer. I really, I love this chair. It's squeaky as hell. <laughs> no, the, the total number, the total number of stats, twelve million spells have been casted. Bloody hell! Since the uh, since the game started, of which for three million projectiles. 1.2 million shields, but only 800,000 heals. Heals. So you suck uh, at healing. Yeah, apparently yeah, you guys suck more. at healing. Me too. Me too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what? Sheeds? Me, me, lion project. Yeah. Sheets. 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 Is is Excellent. Dutch. Yeah. It's Dutch. Yeah. It's, it's no excuse. <laughs> absolutely not. Yeah. Three million. Twelve million. Jesus, that's way more. The, the funny thing is, you probably see him if you hang on the forums. You probably he has a post up there, and he'll continue to post fun mm. statistics every now and then. He's called Binny. Um, but twelve million is way more than I expected. Actually, mm -hmm. three million projectiles. That's pretty crazy. Because it's not like we're in, we're in early access, right? It's not like we're going the <laughs> battlefield Call of Duty mega thing. Trillions. Yeah. <laughs> no trillion. No. So, so we, yeah, exactly. No, I mean that's fairly impressive. Yeah, I mean wow. we have quite a, a select small player pool at the moment, and like I said a minute ago, we're we're expanding now. Yeah. Like, as of stands. 12 million spells from the guys we have now. <laughs> They've all been busy. <laughs> That's pretty damn impressive indeed. Yeah. Like um, oh, let's I see like here. It. For those guys that have just joined us, these are these are the names of our guys. Oh no, that's those those are not the names of our no, guys. That's no, that's completely that's <laughs> not to me wrong. That is here we the go. Name. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Escher, show your tattoo. People, people are famous. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. It's yeah, a nice people, one. People want to just get that tattoo. Yeah. So uh, let's see. Here. Let's draw another one. Uh, Julian Sorel, you just won yourself a key. Congratulations. Good stuff. There Looking you go. forward to I meeting will, you in game. I will add you as a win winner. Of course, everybody that has won a key so far, you will get yourself a key in your uh, Twitch inbox. So just so you are aware of what is going on there. In the meantime, guys. We have a bit of a Q and A going on. If you're in the chat right now, and you've got questions to our uh, to our producers and uh, our developers, throw a quick question in the in the chat. Be sure to put a Q in front of your question between brackets, so I know it is a question. So uh, 
So, uh, wizard Midas, I like to say. Uh -huh. Ooh, Ooh, nice. I know, right? You saved that one up. I know, right? Yeah, I was, right, I was yeah. picking that one for a while. Will rings go further than just being an affinity? In the long run, yes. In the long run, yes. To begin with, we just want to go, I mean, we'll start small and then just keep expanding. Like we're going to do with the entire game. You know, start small, focused, build a solid foundation. So we'll start with just infinity, and then when they become boring, we'll add more stuff. What? I don't know yet. Give me suggestions. We'll have your suggestions, yeah. You know where to find us. <laughs> yeah. You had some questions from the uh, forum and a team, right? I do. We have Excellent. some people, unfortunately, or otherwise engaged, and I, I thought oh. I'd get some uh, questions from them. So, um, we have from Zorkil on the forums, uh, what Sorry. is on the top priority list except for fixes and balancing? Top so priority list. Uh, obviously, we want to get a store out as soon as possible. Because, I mean, we don't have a much of a progression system or anything, f any way for you to feel much rewarded. Uh, it's just the core gameplay at the moment. So you earn crowns and you earn XP and you get all this small amount of stuff that we regularly take away from you. <laughs> but still, when we get a store in and you can actually, you know, buy some stuff for the in-game currencies. And yeah, that's the top priority for us. Uh, or, I mean, except for connectivity and stability, making yep. sure that the game runs first. Yes. After that, I'd say matchmaking, uh, making sure that the games are better balanced, because right now we're seeing that rounds are a bit, they can become very short. Mm. If you have strong players against not so strong players, yeah, you can steamroll <laughs> it, right? Yeah. So, I mean, uh, we in the dev team, we're getting steamrolled now. You, you guys are really good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's some crazy, crazy good people on there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially of the uh, citrus kind. Yeah, there are some citrus fruits. Same. <laughs> yes. Question from the chat. Uh, mm -hmm. Estimated time when this game is going to go free to play. When it's done? Fair enough. <laughs> no, but uh, we have no defined date. On it, right? So we're still very, very early, very early access, mm. but it's not like years away. But it's not, we're gonna, not gonna go a uh, uh, Dota 2 and, and just stay in beta forever and ever, several years. Would you like some beta keys? I've got a pile of them. Mm -hmm. oh, I've only got 500 oh, really? in my Steam inventory. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. No, but so, uh, when it's done, but not years, not multiple years. Well, this is the thing about the way that you want to take the game. I mean, it's it's very much a build with the community. So although you can yes. call an alpha, you can call it a beta, it's more like a, a work in progress with you out there until it's all done. Yes. Rested, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mm. Do you have more chat questions? Yes, I do. What when? What is the status on the training arena? Ah, oh, the training ground. Yes. Yes, that's also one of the things that we're heavily investigating. There's fantastic technical issues with it. Believe it or not. It's since we're a multiplayer only game, uh, we focused there. So doing single player stuff, not as easy as you'd suspect. Uh, but we're actively investigating it and we are working on it. And it probably won't be prioritized above the store. Don't know about the matchmaking, but it's in there, it's in the pipeline. Yes, we'll do it. So you would say this was a standard feature you'd like to be in there, or is this something possibly we'll put to the vote with other things? No, I, th I think this is, would be like a standard feature, because obviously we need a way for players uh, that want to practice yeah. by themselves without being killed by other people to do that. But we also want to do it slightly better, maybe, you know, a way where you can practice defense, a way where you can practice offense against moving targets, doing something nice. Mm. That's what I would like kind to like do. Like a, a wizard firing range or something. Or, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But the key problem is that we're a multiplayer only game mm. and doing single player stuff is has security risks for us. And we need to like nail those down, lock them down first. Mm -hmm. Cool. Are we going to see a Escher robe, which is basically a, a topless wizard with a <laughs> tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> if you want it, if you, you give me enough support on the forums, I would love Community to see vote. it. Community vote! I, I, <laughs> I will model for it. Community team assemble. You've seen it. Oh my god. <laughs> 
be warned, what's been seen cannot be unseen. No, definitely not. <laughs> it's like, this is exactly the direction I was hoping for when I said, let's yeah. trust the community with, with like co-developing the game. It's like, yes! yes. Nudity! <laughs> you can always rely on the community. <laughs> Hey man, equality for everyone. Yes, it's just, indeed. It's, that it's it wizard, is. wizard equality. Yes. Um, there were people asking about a CTF style mode called Capture the Vlad. Yes. Uh huh. So game modes. Obviously, that's also something we're looking at. We're looking at everything. No, but I mean, we're a small team. We can't do everything at once. Uh, we are looking at game modes. Uh, we have a couple of different concepts that we've been throwing around. One of them is like keeping the sort of capture the point system mm -hmm. that we have now, but doing some other layout and something, <coughs> something fun, different amount of points or whatever, something that makes the matches feel different. Uh, or we could have, I'm personally quite fond of a classic mage duel tournament style, just one on one. Uh, or maybe, you know, you can have two, pe two people waiting outside watching watching a duel and then you go in fight the winner something like that could be maybe fun. we could have a, a tag team system tag you know? team would be, yeah that sort of thing it's just ideas that we're throwing around at the moment and i mean i'd, I'd love to have some sort of capture the flag thing because it lends itself very well well a personal favorite of mine was idea i saw on the forums actually uh, it was Pumped the Imp, I believe. Pumped the Imp, yes. The imp. Using uh, some of the <laughs> wonderful <laughs> physics effects we have there, you could, you know, squirt yes. and yeah. force and yes. generally yes. harass poor Imp, you know, yeah. into your whatever I respective th scoring box. Um, I think I had Kick the Moose. Kick, kick the, the Moose. moose. Yeah. Yes. Well, we have we, in the EU4, we already have Moose, so we can take those models. Oh, excellent. Absolutely. Um, we had a very long discussion about player beards last time <laughs> we, had, uh, we had this. We had a stream. Yes. Under beards on the horizon, David. Where are the beards? Damn it! It's Movember. We need Movember. our facial hair. Oh, ouch! Yeah, that hit me where it hurts. Movember. Um, for now, we're probably gonna stick with just you know, robes. Sorry, but. In the future, absolutely. We, I don't want to go down making you know, uh, glasses and, and putting things on top of the black hole because the black hole looks so awesome. It could really be anyone in. It's kind of the defining thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Behind that row, uh, and, no. Uh, yeah. And if we put a beard, you sort of know it's a male, right? Or a female dwarf. But So we need to find some sort of gender neutral th female. Th mm. No, because, I mean, Magicka, we do want to keep it, so it's, it doesn't matter which gender you are, which race you are, which religion you have, whatever, right? It's neutral. A wizard is a wizard. Yes. Yeah. We'd like to keep it that way. So if we do beards, we need to do, you know, other, something, something that would work for the other genders as well. Okay. Um, are we going to see weapon in you at some point? This is a question that constantly keeps on. Yes, up. I know. Yeah. I loved weapon in you in, in the original Magic app because it gave me such awesome burst damage and I could kill everything instantly. That's probably the reason why it's not going to be here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in a multiplayer setting. Yeah. Mm. No. no, but I mean, it's really fun with the sort of burst capacity. It's really fun having like a powerful attack prepared and ready to go. Uh, we've experimented slightly with it, and it is, it does add burst capacity. So it means that a one-on-one -on -one fight, it sort of overrides any reaction time you have, or you need to make it so slow that it doesn't really feel... Mm. So, we're going to start first with a sort of weapon abilities, is our suggestion on how to handle it from the start. And if you really want it, Yemen, of course, we'll make it work. But we haven't really solved it yet. So, maybe in the future. Let's try the weapon abilities first. Cool. I'm going to give away another key. Ruxion. He's following Paradox Interactive. Or she's following Paradox Interactive. You owe yourself a key. Congratulations. Ooh, congratulations. I've, been, I've been giving keys while you were talking away, by the way. Oh, congratulations it's to all of you to as well. everybody. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's, about, um, it's about 10 out of the door. What kind of keys are these, by the way? This this will get you access only at this point. So, you know, you can still buy all the nice goodies if you want to, but for now it just gets you in and uh, killing us mercilessly yes. in the game. All right, cool. But I should also mention, you know, we're giving out keys now and all that jazz, but 
we know that you've all signed up for your alpha invites and mm -hmm. these are continuing to go out. All these keys we're giving out now it just means yep. you're kind of hopping the queue a little bit right. and you got lucky. You yep. will all get your invites eventually yes. over the next months, weeks. Okay, cool. Yeah. Are we going to see a map which is nothing but a giant pool of water? <laughs> ah. <coughs> we were discussing that just recently. Oh, wouldn't that be fun for two seconds? <laughs> Lightning only. <laughs> Uh, no, but I mean, having that sort of, of interaction with the environment, it's hilarious. I love it. It is tricky to balance, especially if we want to go like uh, slightly competitive and looking at like mm. questions from the forums. I think that it seems like you would like to go a bit competitive and having a full water level, it's hilarious, but it's difficult to have, uh, you know, deep competitive eSport gameplay on it. <laughs> well, I, I, or what do you say? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we have, you know, you can have the fun maps and we can have the, yes. uh, the more, you know, balanced, perfectly crafted, even maps, I guess. I mean, yep. there's no reason why I can't mix it up. Perhaps. Nope. No, because, I mean, you can't do magic and be boring. No. That's like, we need, we need fun and crazy stuff. All right, cool. Ah, uh, bo 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 boom. Um, we're kind of running at the end here for uh, this session. No, Unless right. you guys want to continue a little bit longer. Yeah, I'm fine. All right. Yeah. Well, as long as we you have good questions, we we'll be here. Going, yeah. All right. Achievement, weapons, gameplay, endless computer power needed. Magicka is awesome, but we need but too much stuff on the screen makes computer go die. Uh, uh, yeah. Magicka does have a lot of stuff going on on the screen. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's one big light show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, we'll we'll continue to optimize and make sure that, you know, you can run it. At, I mean, I'll say that the, the game is actually running at not okay, but, well, actually quite okay frame rates on integrated uh, Intel 3000 <laughs> HD cards, right? It does run on them. So try to try to bring down the settings, see if that helps, because, and, and the resolution as well, of course. Look at the graphic settings, see if you can bring them down, because we have we, we have two uh, old laptops that we test the game on. We call them Grandma and uh, Grandma, actually. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, and uh, while it is a bit choppy, and if you have too many fireballs going off at the same time, yeah, it hurts. But it is still playable. So get working on those settings. I guess see if you can lower it. This is kind of the challenge of Magicka, because I mean, everything yeah. you see on screen is useful and necessary information. If you see someone with like flames around them, you know, oh dear, I've got to quickly pop up a fire yep. shield. You know, mm -hmm. it's hard to kind of trim out these spell effects and you know lower them down. You have to. It's, uh... From Paradox North comes Magicka Wizard Wars, a spellcasting action PvP game. A dynamic spellcasting system lets you combine eight elements into awe-inspiring spells. This truly changes how people interact. Crazy oh. solid, then you can shatter them all wrong. That's a lot of damage! There's a little goblin oh called God. Simon! Snack, Snack, come on, Reaper! This game is all about the wizard experience. About you perfecting this tapestry of arcane art. Time for the drop of meteor storm on them. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! We now offer Early Access, a revolutionary new initiative where you get to co-create the game with us developers. Your opinion matters to us. The Grim Reaper's here! Oh my God. Oh my God. Join now and see what's next in store for the leading edge in spellcasting action. Magicka Wizard Wars, in Early Access, now. Friendly fire! Oh. So far so good! Oh God.